Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lemmings World Tour! We are continuing with the Legend Rank today and I got a hint in last video on what to uh, do for the level I got stuck on which is uh, Take Me Home Country Roads. Turns out I had the solution correct. It turns out, yep, you need to make the Miner and the Basher cross. That is technically possible to do. So off, uh, off camera I fiddled with this until I got it right, and now I have a replay to work with here. I literally had the solution right, it just was super fiddly. So you glide in stone there, and then what we do is we wait uh, for the top lemmings to go do their thing. Then they turn back, turn around, you have to make them walk just the right number of pixels, and have them start mining. And then once these guys come, you need to make this guy start bashing through the wall at just the right amount of pixels away from the wall. And sure enough, that'll magically make them cross together. It is ridiculously precise if they are not both perfectly lined up pixel perfect at, the, at their starting lines and they don't absolutely per pixel perfect start, then it will not work. So, yep. So then you just platform over this tunnel and then build to the exit. And yep. That's the level. Yeah, so I guess I'll give my thoughts on that one. I didn't like that one because I figured out what the solution was like pretty much instantly. Like the trick with the glider and the stoner I figured out very quickly and the whole can you get, I, I immediately saw I'm like, well, if we can get a miner and a basher to Clark cross, that would probably be the only way to do it. The problem was it was way too precise. Now, people might call me hypocritical and saying, Artie, in your pack sublems, you also had several puzzles where you had to make two uh, destructive skills cross each other. Yes. Here's the difference, though. So I'm guessing the one that people will point out is Crazy Christmas Crossing and Crazy Christmas Crossing 2. However, those are a lot more fair when it comes to being... Uh, yes, those, those are precise, but those are also very fair. The For Crazy Christmas Crossing 1... All of the lemmings are, there are only four lemmings, you need to use all of them for the crossing, and they are perfectly positioned so that you literally can't mess up. It's not like you have to wait a certain amount of time, like, no. Their positions are already fixed for you, it's literally just a matter of when, what to do, and when do you have them build, and it doesn't take a whole lot of trial and error. The second one, where you have to make a basher and a digger cross, that one would be precise, except I've marked out on the ground in terrain exactly where a digger needs to start, and then you just have the first lemming who reaches the wall bash at a certain time. So you really only have to experiment with when to time the basher, whereas here you need to not only specify when to time the uh, basher and the miner, also where you need to make them start. So, and there nothing was marked out, and the fact that the miners have to start on uneven terrain, so that makes it even more fiddly. Not a fan of that one. Sorry, Strato, they can't all be winners. Level 5. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not by Leonard Cohen. This is definitely by uh, Joseph Hendel. But, alright, well maybe he made a song called Hallelujah too. 20 Lemmings Gotta Save All 20. This is a nice looking level. I like the building and I like how there's the water on the building and the moon there. Okay, unlimited time, 50 release rate. We have a swear too. Hmm, okay. Kind of limited on the um, destructive skills, if I do say so. Oh, I see, I see what we're going to do. We're going to time it so the climber can go over first. Ah, uh, maybe? Should we build or should we stack? Hmm. Let's try stacking first. I'm worried that if we stack first, yeah, he's gonna reach the gap and fall down. Oh, stuff and fluff. Can we make the climber earlier? Nope. 
All right, this is interesting. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. I think two builders is all it'll take. I think if we do a builder here, swim across, and then a builder there, that'll make a bridge. I think. Actually, hmm. I don't see an obvious place to uh, use a basher, so I'm gonna say maybe we can use the basher to free these guys, or just another digger. Except we need to save everybody. Oh wait, no, we obviously need the basher for this part. <laughs> Silly Artie. We do have a lot of builders at our disposal, so maybe we can do use them to our advantage. Hmm. Darn it. Of course he hit. Oh, wait, we don't even. He's a climber! What are we doing? Alright, you can be a swimmer as well. There you go, you build there. Oh, shoot, he can't climb back up this way. Oh, no, he can! It looks like there's a gap in those blocks, but no, there's not. That's just the way the Sega blocks are. Glad you turned around. Um, here's a question, though. Can we have this guy... Oh, sweet! That does work! Excellent. We don't need to waste an extra digger, then. That's good, because we are running dangerously low on bashers. So to free them, all we need is a builder. Oh shoot, we need to build up here. Forgot about that. Hmm. True, we need to we need to build up there. I totally forgot about that. Hmm. Oh, they can dig their way out! Oh, sweet! We don't even need... Okay. Okay, in that case... I want to build from such a way that he won't turn around. Just like that. Now you build like that. And you build like that. Once you get down low enough, hopefully you can mine and still turn around, but probably not. Gotta make him go lower. I 
don't maybe he'll not turn around there it's hard to say oh sweet thank you thank you thank you it's possible that I just need another digger actually no it's not Thank you for hitting that and turning around. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's going di to keep digging too much. I need him to stop digging. Oh, wait a second. Well, no. He still needs to complete that bridge, doesn't he? Unless... No. So he does need to turn around. Otherwise, I'm like, wait, could we just... Hmm. This end part is interesting. Hey, here's a question. Do we even need to send two climbers? It's entirely possible we don't even need two climbers. Okay. That would definitely save on some tasks if we could avoid that. <laughs> I just fell too in love with the idea of um, the one climber just barely being able to squeeze by at the start. a much better plan. Okay, that just doesn't... Okay. Well, two can play at that game. How do you like that? Now they can all just go to the top, and I can dig here, get them out. Now you can climb, and dig, get them all out. And we have two diggers to spare, as well as a stacker. 
Bada beam, bada boom. Simple. I definitely overcomplicated that level. That was a simple one. Way easier than the last one, and that was fun. That was fun to suss out. I really like that. I just wish I had figured out you only need to send the one climber at the beginning <laughs> earlier. Level 6, Lems in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles. I get that reference. It's Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, both Lems. We got 40 Lemmings, and we can afford to kill up to three of them. I really like the look of this level. I've always loved the crystals from the crystal tile set. They're free colors, but they're so beautiful. And I like that background as well with all the clouds. And I'm a sucker for the moon. Oh, sweet. Unlimited Builders, pretty much. Okay. So, they'll be stuck in from the this side. <laughs> okay, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> the clouds are like, boo. Well, gee. We could do a compression method at the beginning. To get you past. Let's blow you up to keep them hemmed in. No, I will get up there. Like so. All right. That is a nasty contraption. Hmm. Oh, can we not get them out with just a single builder? Dog on it. Okay, there, that'll do it. Now we should be able to get them out with a single builder. Oh crap, I forgot about. Whoops! How did I forget about that little problem? Alright, what I'm thinking is we need to get a glider to fly up here. Build. Build. Find a way to... Then we need to go under. So we actually might run out of builders, but... I think that'll do it. No, it won't. Darn it, there's still two pixels left. Okay. Maybe we should just bash under it all. Oh, except we can't. Alright, what do we need the bashers for? We'll need one potentially for here. No, I don't think I think I don't think so. We'll need one for here for sure. The other two seem to be rather expendable though. So if that's the case... And if you start bashing there, we're gonna have you bomb right after that. That'll keep you all penned in. build your dream home, we can build them out. Alright. Now hopefully... Nope, that's not high enough, eh? Then what would be high enough?
Darn it. I don't like that. Hmm. Maybe this is where we need the other bomber? No, maybe not. Ten builders is not as much as you might think. That's the- this is the issue here. But fine, let- that's- don't make me right-click when I don't want to, game. Please and thank you. Maybe the entire bottom area is a complete ruse. It's designed to lead you astray. Sure enough. <laughs> Laws are no fun. Let's cheat. Yeah, that was, um... That was simpler than I was expecting. Possibly a back route. <laughs> Almost certainly a back route. I saved extra weapons and had a bunch of extra skills. <laughs> just, you know, sometimes you just overcomplicate things by being like, Oh, the... the <laughs> The structure of the land seems to indicate that it wants me to go this way, and then you just completely forget, wait, I can just skip everything. Well, as Lix Multiplayer teaches you, top route is the best route. <laughs>